Precision, tempo, manipulating defenders. Sounds like it's time for a demo. Mm -hmm. Certainly does. Uh, shall we get up and give it a go? We, we've noticed something, obviously, in, it's going on with every team, Dylan, and that's this forward pod. Oh, is that a World Cup ball? Peripheral vision. Let me touch one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, see it. So, this three pod, we get three forwards always trying to carry into contact. So, we're going to go through three scenarios and then look at, obviously, the three guys here, the three forwards that we have, sure. and then the fly-off out the back. What, what are you looking for from a carry from these guys? So... so Sorry, mate, you're going to have to go to the bench. I'm going to just step in there. I think just about every team in the world is doing this. They're, they're trying to create space and make defenders make poor reads. So the first thing we do, we always have a primary carrier, which is here. We always have an option inside. We have an option outside. He needs to engage someone. He needs to engage someone. We're trying to create a one-on-one -on -one situation for me. Defences are so tight now, yeah. it's usually two-man tackles. So you guys are basically trying to create space for me. So if you get your hands up, that defender's eyes come to you because you could get the ball. And this could well be Pocock at the weekend. This could be Hooper, couldn't it? We've put them in blue shirts to show how important it is to move them away from this tackle zone. Yep. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm the coach. OK. Um, <laughs> this guy here, he's going to run a hard, genuine line to engage this defender. If this guy comes for me on the ball, it creates a decision for me. I can put this guy through a hole. Uh, Goody, where are you? We've got oh, a fly half out the back. back. His role? You've been dropped as well, mate. Sorry, it's mate. more to do with your hair. <laughs> Sorry. I just think on that as well, Dylan. So when, when Dylan goes to the line, this guy, you say about running, we want him to run into the hole here. So if you, if you run at him, he can just wait and then he can get off you. He can, when the ball's passed, so Dylan passes here, now you can get off and get here. But if you run into the space inside shoulder, he has to follow you in. As he follows you in, we can get on the outside. But this is really predictable, isn't it? Because we see so many teams do it. So these defenders on this side, they see it time and time again. They do it in training every week. They do it in matches. We've seen England now throw the needle pass. So they make these three guys look like they're going to come up and take the ball, but they throw it in between the two of you. Looks like it's going to Dylan, but actually it comes out the back to Ford. What are we looking for then when we get to the corner? Well, the key is these guys try and hold these defenders. We've seen before this... The passes going through Dylan and out the back is too many passes. And so what England and what Japan did very well against Scotland to take away some of that line speed is, that, as I said, pass it straight from nine, straight here to a moving ten, who's then running at pace here. And then he's got two more forwards here to pick a pass. So he picks away. a pass and they just but, double load the last defender, oh, Dylan. For, for, for this to be effective, everyone needs to be engaged. Everyone needs to be hands up, looking like a genuine option. Because... If you come at me and then think the ball is going out the back to the 10, I still need to run this hole like I can get the ball. And if your nine's smart enough, he'll see that and put you through the hole. So as soon as people disengage, they lazy run, their hands are down here, he knows. He can read body yeah. language. He knows I'm not going to catch the ball if my hands are here. But if we've got hands up, we're all running hard, genuine lines, calling for the ball. I don't want it. It's called Needle. <laughs> yeah. needle. Let's, let's, needle. Go, let's give it a blast then, Dylan, shall we? Let's go yeah. to it full pace. Mate, you're in. And see if, see if, oh, he's back in, he's back in. Hope yeah. you watch him. Oh, God, you're out. You're oh. dropped, mate. Sorry. Oh, it's a world damn cup. It. You can't play. Down the inside, uh, let's go out the back. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it at full speed then and see what we can do. So the ball comes through the needle. They isolate one defender and a big ball carrier goes through the middle. It's what England are probably looking for at the weekend because if you think that you've got those back row guys in tight, if you go out to the 13 or even wider channels, it's very, very difficult for Pocock and Hooper to get over the ball. It's absolutely. Absolutely outstanding. Put your hands together for Dylan Hartley and Alex Good. Hopefully you guys can implement that into your rugby this weekend.